Hey guys, Jim Moxie here, back with our blind playthrough of... Oh, let me turn that down. Of, uh, Barkley Shop and Jam Gaiden. Here comes Jack. You wanna get up here, Jack? Come on. Oh, there. <laughs> Jumps up onto the, the table and combos into a, a face rub against the microphone. Here, how about you come over here and I will... I will pet you or pick you up or whatever. I don't know if you can... You can't see him yet. All right, come here, you. Come here, you little cat. Okay. There we go, there's the tail. All right. So last time we were gonna go past, um, you know, what do people in there say, right? Because we beat him up and then uh, supposedly he was gonna lower the prices. So maybe he actually did some good. Are you gonna? Are you gonna stand? Would you like to lay down? Weirdo cat. Okay, well let's let's try. We can't go back in there. Fair enough. Fair enough. And the enemies are back, which is fine. Is this the right way to go? I think so. Where are you going? Don't don't try to get it back up there. Don't try to get back up there. Oh, let's talk to Rufus. I hear you knocked him around good. I get the feeling things are going to be changing around here. There you go. I mean, there you go, Jack. Not there you go, Rufus. But still, you know, that's fine. Uh-oh. Well, all right. Ball spiders. Okay. What's up, Jack? Oh, you're a kitten. Where are you going? <sighs> oh, Jack. Uh, do we want rapid fire? Jack. Thank you, Jack. That's very helpful. Oh. Well, okay, I got one. I got one at least. All right. Oh, Jack, you're so cute. You're so cute. He's just rubbing his face against my hand. I'm... Are you... Do you want food? Is that why? Here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, there. Oh, oh. Oh, my little cat. Oh, my little cat. Oh, I love you. I love you, cat. tell me you want to eat. It's a little... It's not a great time. It's not a great time, Jack. It happens. It happens, Jack. Oh, Jack. Almost. Okay. Oh, hey, let's do this. I'm gonna set you down. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice and easy. There you go. Because I want to try and shoot him a couple times with a rapid fire. And then, uh... Oh, no. Well, okay. I hit down instead of left and right, because it looks like it's down on the screen, but left and right in the, uh... enemy list. some good damage and you're cutie jack you are a cutie don't don't get up there okay you're not gonna lay down you're just wait what a uh, accurate shot rapid fire okay don't worry jack i'll feed you here in you know like an hour and they kind of just ate kind of oh here he comes again here he comes all right, I think I think we're good. We are good. Same dialogue as before. What about what about you now? Thanks to you, I can now afford not only that my skin dyed black, but also my hair bleached white as well. The day will soon come when I can walk the streets in the form I was meant to be, the dreaded drow. 
That's the that's the other thing that they miss about about all this racism stuff, right? Where like they're the ones that are racist because they feel that drow are all evil and orcs are all evil. It's like I mean I don't actually know if orcs are given personalities and stuff. I know they basically like to fight. Right? That's kind of their thing. And drow they have certain things as well. But some are good. Like they have free will. They can choose whether to be good or not. Most of them enjoy being evil. Uh, but some of them are good, so they have free will. They're not all the same. Imagine that! A race that's not all the same! Right? That's more than just the color of their skin. That's why those people are such fucking racists. Well, I guess I owe you one for sticking it to the doctor like that. Makes life easier for all of us, you know? We're just trying to get to proto-Neo New York, lady. We didn't do it for anyone else. It doesn't matter to me why you did it. Just be sure to stock up before you go down there. You think it's bad up here? Wait until you get down real deep. It's pretty brutal. They say the b-ball energy levels are so out of control they can mutate a person. That sounds pretty bad. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, so it's just straight up open. I thought you were cool, man, but you go and beat up the doctor right after he does such a good job on you. Seriously, how ungrateful can you be? Don't even talk to me. Whatever you've got to say, I don't want to hear it. Yep. That's people. Barkley, Proto-Neo New York lies just beyond here. When you're ready, head down the ladder. I... I mean, I hope we're good. Do I need more... I wish I could... I wish I could sort. Do I need more protein paste? You know what? Let's let's. What do we have? Let's buy more stuff. Just to be sure. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. Steroids. Yeah. Okay. Why did it... Oh, because the Spike B ball is not what he has, but... No, it is what he has. Do I have two? That's weird. I must have two. Oh, I must have bought... What's his name? The... Vince Borg one of those. That's alright. I could sell it, I suppose, but... Gateway. Good music. Shit! Oh, crap. Oh, the ladder broke. Got it. Oh, my head. Everyone alright? I didn't realize there was going to be more quick time events. I should have realized that, but I wasn't ready for it. Um, well, and that explains why he tells you to be ready. I had everyone over, right? For the love of Clisbeth, Charles, you need to be more careful. I think I bruised my knee, but I'm okay, Dad. Well, the ladder's broken now, so we won't be able to go back up. Damn it. Let's just keep going forward. Um, yeah, we all... Wow. We all took some damage. Proto Neo New York. So this is Proto Neo New York. Ken, can we take a break, Dad? I'm getting kind of tired. I'll be the first to second that. My dogs are barking, Charles. I can keep going, but I still suggest we stop to gather our bearings and plan some things out. All right. Come on, heal me up. Oops, I, I wanted you to know I'm sorry. I'm sorry for getting you involved in this whole mess. This whole goddamn mess. Dad, it's okay. It's best that we got hoops when we did. There's no telling what could have happened to him at the hands of Inspector Jordan. And as much as I hate to say this, he's safer with us, despite the situation we're in. 
It's just, this is also bonkers. It's also goddamn bonkers. All of this. We're running around the post cyber apocalypse looking for clues about who or what Blood Moses is and who did the Chaos Dunk and all this shit about the Ultimate B Ball. It's just bonkers. You know. Was it Charles Barkley that's unable to say basketball? They should have put that in here. Where he's. What is he, he says basketball. Like without a K. Yeah. Like the K is replaced with an S. Basset, like Basset Hound, Basset Ball. I mean, whatever, I guess if he has a speech impediment, it's not polite to make fun of it, but... Doesn't mean you can't. As bonkers as it may be, Charles, the world hangs on a fringe, and we're the only ones capable of saving it. You're right, Cyberdwarf, I know you are. I just wish shit didn't have to be this way. I wish it could just go back to when B-Ball was B-Ball, with no shit attached, and we didn't have to whisper every time we wanted to talk about Nike. It's like, the whole world's just fucked. Well, maybe we can change that. Hoops? Dad, I've been meaning to ask you, what's the cyberpocalypse? Well, Ho Hoops, I don't really know how to explain it to you. I'm not really a religious... 2,000 years ago, a Jickelbergian freedom fighter was crucified by the British Empire in an event that is now known as the Boston Massacre. His name was Clispeth Ryuji Atuk. You mean, THE Clispeth? They are one of the same hoops. It's shocking for many to give context to Clispus' historical relevance, but he was indeed real. He was the leader of an army that was fighting for the freedom of Jickelberg from the British Empire. The backlash of the Boston Massacre was tremendous. Armies gathered underneath the banners of Clispus' remaining disciples to fight the British Empire. They fought. They fought for the duration of 666 years until both sides were destroyed and the whole world obliterated. This was the cyberpocalypse, and we are living in its consequences. This is weird. The Clispeth I learned about in church was... <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that laughter is coming from over there. Quickly, run into the house. Who's there? Do it or he'll get you, quickly. I don't know what the hell's going on, but we better do it. What the hell is going on? What was that laughter? Who are you? Oh, there's a person on the left. Shh, quiet, he'll hear us. Who? The ghost dad. Just tell me what the hell is going on here. Keep it down, he's still here. Can't you hear him? <laughs> Shit. I think, I think he's gone now. That was close. Charles, I haven't seen you in a long time. I know who the ghost dad is. I saw a screenshot of this. What? I've never seen you in my life. You don't recognize my sensual curves and delicate frame, Charles Barkley? I was once the talk of the NW... Uh, WNBA. Oh, but I suppose that the loose b-ball energies have ravaged my body, and time has ravaged your memory. Juana? Juana man? It can't be you. You're one of the first killed in the purge. What happened to you? That's what the TV said. I paid off those lousy reporters with what money I had left and went into the hiding down here in Proto-Neo, New York. What I didn't know was that the b-ball energy levels down here were so high that all who were exposed became b-ball mutants. Juana, I had no idea. Nobody did. Not at first. But that's not even the worst of it. The ghost dad. I don't know who he is or where he came from, Charles, but he's terrible. He haunts the streets of Proto-Neo, New York, looking for victims for his sadistic whims. We were already miserable, but before the ghost dad came, we could at least be miserable in peace. I'm really sorry, Joanna man, but we're only here because we're on our way to the old Spalding building. We're not here to stay. Huh, the old Spalding building. Want to relive your past glories, huh? That's a shame, Barkley. A shame? Why? Because the old Spalding building's cut off by the fog. Don't even bother trying to stumble through that shit. You just get lost and wind back up here. Trust me, we've tried to reach it and we lost a few men. It's because of the post because of the ghost dad, Charles. He's causing the mist, and I'm sure if you destroy I'm sure if you destroy him, you can clear it out. Your only real option is to go into town and accept the hunter quest on the bulletin board to defeat the ghost dad and clear out the fog. Is that true? Bulletin board? Hunter quest? What's all this? Is this a uh Monster Hunter reference? Ask Ramirez. He's standing next to the Hunter Quest bulletin board. And he's an expert. He can get you started out as a monster hunter. 
Looks like we've got no other choice. We'll accept the hunt quest and kill the ghost dad. Thank you, Charles. I mean it. Thank you. Don't think I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart, Juana. Have you checked the town hunt quest board yet, Barkley? No, not yet. Who knows? You may find more lucrative hunts on it than just the ghost dad. We'll see, Juana. We'll see. Uh, well... Can I even search any of this stuff? I don't... I don't think so. Uh, what about the other building? Oh. Wait, are we full? No. Cough. Get away from me. Suit yourself, chump. See. Wait, do I know you? Barkley? Wild man. You're as pale as a ghost now. I'm ashamed to say we used to jam together, cough. I wouldn't be surprised if you forgot the meaning of that word. Why you gotta say shit like that, man? What changed since we last met that you'd make you think something like that? Get off your Clispeth damned high horse, Barkley. You killed the only thing that ever meant a damn to me, cough. You cursed us all, Barkley. You cursed us all. Charles, there are more pressing issues to address right now. I suggest no, Baltheos. I gotta sort this out. Look, I know I messed up. I can't change that, but I'll be damned if anyone tries to stop me from making things better. You make me sick. In fact, you're the very reason I was infected with the negative b-ball energies. Now, this place is a wasteland. Cough. B-ball was always there for you when you needed it most. Where were you when b-ball needed you most? Cough. Running like a coward, you pawn scum. You don't know what it's like. You'll never know what it's like. You're right, I won't. I'd never become the monster you are. I... I don't know what to tell you. Hardly surprising, Cough. You never even had the guts to say you're sorry. I mean, they say never apologize, but... I can't change the past. I, I know that. There's not a goddamn day that goes through my head where I don't think about everything being different. You know what? What does living in the past do? Not a whole lot. All I have to look forward to is the future, no matter how bleak it is. I'm sorry, wild man. I miss jamming till the sun went down. I miss making a huge slam in front of thousands of screaming fans. B-ball may be banned now. But I'm gonna change that, mark my words. Things are only gonna get better from here on in. Maybe you have changed, Cough. Only time will tell. Good luck. Okay, anything else? No. No, nothing. Alright, well... Rick, you don't have to stare at me. I know I'm a freak. I wasn't always like this. I used to be a pretty handsome guy, kind of like yourself. That all changes once you start living down here, once you start sucking in those b-ball energies. It's everywhere. It's in the air. It's in the ground. It's in the food. It's in the walls. You can't avoid it no matter what you do. It'll get you as long as you're down here, and when it does, you start to change. Maybe your hair will get thin and you're wirely like a net, or maybe you'll grow a b-ball tumor, or maybe your hands will turn into whistles. It's... <laughs> It's different for everyone, but one thing is for sure, as long as you're down here, it'll get you. Word's been going around you're willing to take care of the ghost dad. I don't know why you'd want to do that for a bunch of freaks like us, but it's a real kind gesture. We don't usually get visitors, and when we do, they're not the good kind. It's hard to believe that people can be motivated by more than just greed these days, especially down here. Oh yeah, his limbs are basketballs. None of us chose to come down here. We're all victims of circumstance. Some might have been running from the law, others because they just didn't fit in up there. It doesn't matter why we're here. What matters is that we're outcasts and none of us can ever go back up. They say there's a doctor up there who can help people to look however they want, but could he help a person like me? My hands, my feet? They're basketballs. We came down here because of shame. If we went back up, it'd only be worse. Why'd I come down here? I couldn't take it anymore, the way they decided who did and didn't belong. That's what they did with the Purge. It was their way of saying, we don't want you and you can dribble if you can dribble a basketball. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't a basketball player, but it was only a matter of time before they did it again with some other group. I wasn't going to let that happen to me. I wasn't going to get killed because I didn't fit the status quo. It's kind of sad, though, what I've become. I don't know what's going on up there anymore, but I have to wonder if I made the right choice. I don't think dying would be so bad after all. Wow. Alright, we'll check the pump out in a second. Marlin. This isn't a hotel or anything, but you can stay as long as you pay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I had to drink some water. 
I was drinking coffee all day and I had some ginger flavored soda earlier. And I was like, I was like, you know, I haven't had any water today, really. It's not good. You need to stay hydrated, especially when you're reading a lot. You know, because your voice, you gotta take care of it. Okay, well. Okay, so there's the pump, and the board is right next to it, the message board, or... Shit, the fog is so thick I can barely see anything in front of me. We better go back. Hmm, so that's the way forward, I suppose. Or... Okay. So there's two exits to this town. Guns, guns, guns. What is uh, what is that guy doing? With his hand moving up and down. Hundley, welcome to, oh, welcome to Hundley's Casino. Huh, Casino? Why don't you try your luck on one of our games? I don't see any games. Our most popular game is called Bones. Care to play? I guess so. Bones, press up or down to change your bet. Each player rolls two die and adds their face values. Rolling both die the same value will double your total. The highest total wins. Okay. Your Neo Shekels are as good as mine. Yeah. Oh, up or down to change your bet. I see. Bet 20. That's fine. Total six. Okay. Do I click? Barclays roll, total 12. Right, because it doubles it. Uh, sorry, I don't really have any money. I can't pay you back or anything. What? I forgot that I don't have any Neo Shekels. You goddamn bum, I'm gonna slam you. Charles, let's leave him. The people down here already have nothing. There's no need to make things more difficult for them. But, ah, uh, fine. You're lucky, pal. You better hope we don't cross paths again. Don't even look at me, chump. That's funny. He'll take your money if you win, but he won't. Or if he wins, but he won't give you any. I hear a rumor that you're going to the old Spalding building. Is that true? What's it to you, chump? Guns. Let me elaborate. I'm what you call a guns braster, a collector, collector and aficionado of guns. In fact, you could go so far as to say that all I care about is guns. Get to the point. Ah, but what is the point? But enough of my enlightened musings. I'm sure you want to know what my extreme love of guns has to do with you. You see, it has come to my attention that a particular item of note to gun enthusiasts such as myself is currently inside the old Spaulding building. Its name, the Final Gun. Some say it was a prototype the Spaulding was building before it disappeared in the purge. Others say it was made by the devil himself. Heh, <laughs> I don't care. I only care about guns. He wants to get this gun for you, huh? What's in it for us? The knowledge that you've aided the premier guns braster should be enough to stake, slake your primitive desire for reward. Um, I mean, Hoops is a guns braster. Fuck you, buddy, no deal. Okay, okay, I'll give you something nice. Something rare and valuable, okay? That's more like it. We'll get you this final gun, or whatever. Anything for guns. Have you gotten the final gun yet? Not yet. Not paying you to stand around, so we duly noted when time comes for payment. You're a dick. What happens? I mean, you gotta. It better be good. You know, if I get the final gun and it's good and then I trade it to him and he's like, here's a turnip or something, you know? Dog. D Dog. Welcome to Guns, 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 your one stop shopping emporium for all things guns related. Okay, so we have. Cheapest gun in the market. That's what he's got. And upgrade, mithril, braster. So these are all guns, probably. And what is this? Um, we'll buy one of these. And then we'll buy this. You can never have enough guns. Right. Almost double. Eh, you know, 75% extra or something. What about... What is the ultimate wristband? 
power. Is it... Oh. Uh, I mean... That might be good, though. Because power would be... more. Sweatband. Let's see, Cyber Dwarf has the lowest speed. You know what, we'll go with, uh... We'll go with this. That way at least, because it's like they always get a turn, it's just, I guess, a question of when? When their turn comes? Alright. Skeleton. Nothing? Okay, what about you? Did I talk to you already? Ramirez, is this your first time at the Hunter Quest Bulletin Board, kid? Huh? Yeah, I guess. Heh, <laughs> Greenhorns. Well, I'm sure you got a whole mess of questions just waiting to be answered. That's my job. Ramirez, pleased to meet, pleased to meet you. Let's get started on the basics. That's the Hunter Quest Bulletin Board. It shows all the Hunter Quests that are currently available to you. Hunter Quests are jobs or missions you can accept that require you to perform a task for someone, usually hunting down a monster. You got that? Yeah. Heh, you're not as dumb as you look, kid. Don't let it get to your head. The bright ones are the ones that always think they know everything. You do something stupid, and I don't want to see that happen to you. You can see more information on a specific hunt by selecting it. You can gauge your hunt's difficulty by its monster grade, which can range from E, which is weak, to S, which is strong. I'd start with rank E monsters and work your way up if I were you. Okay. But that's not all. Once you accept the hunt, you still have to go and talk to whoever commissioned it. After that, the hunt begins. It sounds a lot more complicated than it really is, but you should try it out. Who knows, if you're smart and know what you're doing, you may end up a real hunter after all. Try it out. Go to the hunter bulletin board, accept a hunt. Pick something easier to start with and we'll try to work your way up. Remember, the more difficult the hunt you accept is, the better your reward will be. Okay, let's save. And then we'll go from there. The VidCon Manifesto by Pump 1. All vidcons must be released alongside a minimum of four limited edition wall scrolls. The wall scrolls will feature pictures of characters from the vidcon in the anime style. The only exceptions to this rule are sports games, which will not be released with any wall scrolls, as there is enough sports memorabilia to last its ignorant fans for a lifetime. Two, only one vidcon per sport can be released a year. For example, there can only be one basketball vidcon, one football vidcon, one baseball vidcon, etc. Three, all vidcons with English voice acting must make Japanese voice acting optional. Furthermore, they must allow for subtitles. Subs, not dubs. Eh. I mean, if it's made in English originally, that's fine. It's just when they... Some dubbing is freaking awful. Still. It's gotten a lot better overall. Like, the average has gone up, but... You know, you still get... The original, the original vision of the directors and stuff is what you want. You get... Especially now. Especially now, you get people that are translating and they're like, uh, Oh, that's, that's problematic. We gotta change that. Oh, that's too misogynistic or whatever. Or you get idiots like the, that woman that translated um, uh, some of the Mega Man bosses into, like, like Wales McDuff or something. Because she did it as, like, a, a gift for her husband, who was a fan of Guns N' Roses or something. So she wanted to make all the boss names in English Guns N' Roses members or something, and it's just like, what are you doing? Like, that is not... And so it's... Dumb, dumb shit. Yeah. So... All RPGs must strictly adhere to the Moe aesthetic. This may anger some Western RPG video, con video vid conners, but I barely consider them vid conners at all. Uh, five. All vidcons must have a minimum of three beautifully crafted anime cutscenes. Eh. I feel like uh, Chrono Trigger was kind of ruined a little bit by the the anime cutscenes being added. Put them as like a bonus feature, not like insert them into the game. 
Six Olvid Cons must be released alongside its full feature-length soundtrack. In order to avoid, avoid confusion, the soundtrack must be called Game Name OST. For example, Artanelico Medal Medley of Bernia OST. It may not have subtitles, for example, our Tonalico Medley Melody of Alernia Rhapsody of Music Soundtrack. This rule does not apply to arranged soundtracks. Jesus. But there are people in the anime community that are that are like that. It's like the whole autism thing. That's just it's just what it is. Current monster, ghost to add or exit. Really leave monster quest board? Yeah. I guess, oh, that's the rank E? So are there higher level stuff? Uh, commissioned by Juana Man. Comments Yakamundo. The ghost has been making a real mess of things down here in Proto Neo, New York. Help us get rid of him and maybe even the fog on the road to the old Spalding building will clear up Juana Man. Yeah. <laughs> Report to Juana Man for further details. Uh, no, not this one. Uh, here. So you accepted the Hunter Quest, Barkley? I thought you would. The Ghost Ad's been terrorizing Proto Neo New York for years now. We've been living, living in its wake and at its mercy for too long, and it's, uh, it's time something is done about it. Problem is, we're just not cut out for fighting here, so that's why we hired you. <laughs> Shit, sounds like he's back. That's your cue, Barkley. Oh, and be careful out there, for me. Do you wanna... You know my heart belongs to Maureen, even in death. I... I know. She was a lucky woman, Charles. Good luck out there. I know you can do it. I'll do what I can, Joanna. There it is. Yeah, so you're the ghost dad, huh? You don't look so goddamn tough to me. I've got all day to see the best you've got, chump. So it's, uh... It's Bill Cosby. I think this game was made in, like, 2007? So... Bill Cosby went to prison... Four years ago? Three years ago? I don't even remember, but yeah. So, uh, with diabetes, diabetes, whatever. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the trick. Wow, he's got a lot of oh power up. That's no good. Immune. Well, what about Holy Dunk? Uh, hmm. Um. Ooh, speed is down. That's good. That's pretty good. So it did about 75 worth. And oh, jeez. Oh, this is bad. Uh, let's see. Moves negative stat mods, glaucoma. Don't know.
This could be bad, but we'll see what happens. It looks like Barkley's berserk. some ice. Hopefully that does a lot of damage. That's good. Oh, well that's no good. Mmm. Maybe glaucoma. Oh, jeez. Okay. Handicap. Well, that will help with the hits, I think. This is bad. Handy capable. to go again. Right on. I guess that's the good thing about speed. Ooh, that's no good. Oh, he's dead? Ouch. Steroids? Still has all the issues, though. Keep attacking, I'll use the dwarf to heal my guy. Uh, let's see, dwarf and touch. There we go. Hmm. 
does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Ouch. Wow, 230. That's a lot. Can I revive? That's hard. It's. <laughs> I didn't expect the status effects are bad. Whoa, four thousand experience. Yeah. Level seven, 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 level seven. Maybe I should have gotten the 5,000, but... Oh, look at all the ghosts! So many ghosts! The Fog. Ghost Dad, I may never know who you were in life, but may you find the peace you sought in death. I think he's still alive. He's in prison now, but he's gone, Juana Man. The ghost dad is gone. And so is the fog, Barkley. Charles, I want to thank you for... Juana, you know my heart still belongs to Maureen. But we're both so lonely, you and I. I can make you happy again, Charles. We both could be happy. Is... okay. Is Juana Man... is that a real person, or is it like... I have to, I have to look this up. Because I remember back in the day they had uh, stuff about... Uh, like there were movies where people would like dress up as women. I mean, they still do, but... Do you want a man? Oh, was it a movie? Uh, yes. Yes. Dressed in drag, Jamal. Miguel A. Nunez Jr. gets booted from the big leagues. Okay, yeah. Right, I, I, I thought it was something like that. Yeah, so that's actually a dude. Dressed as a woman. <laughs> I can make you happy again, Charles. We both could be happy. We could both be happy, whatever. I'm sorry, Juana, but I can't be happy knowing somewhere out there someone with the will and ability to perform another chaos dunk is alive. I can't sit still while people like Blood Moses plot to molest the world. But, but why, Charles? After all, the world's done to you. What's the world done to me that I haven't deserved, Juana? I took b-ball for granted, and when it was taken away from me, I realized how important it really was. That's why I'm doing this, Juana. I'm not doing this for me. I'm not doing this for Marine or the world. I'm doing this for hoops. Excuse me. I'm doing this so he can grow up in the same world I grew up in. A world where layups got you applause, not arrested. I'm doing this so he can know the same sport I did. Charles. I'm sorry, Juwan. Goodbye. Goodbye, Charles. The fog's clear now. All we need to do is go to the Spalding building. I think we can get there if we keep heading west through town. Alright. Any other stuff? World's been... Where it's been going around, you're willing to take care of the ghost dad. Yep, okay, I mean, it's, it's ghost dad's taken care of. Looks like you bagged your first monster kit. I knew you had it in you, but you can't stop there. There are even more hunter quests posted on the bulletin board that you can accept for rare and lucrative rewards. <laughs> Who knows, maybe s rank hunter like me someday. Um, It's still on there, though. I don't want to fight him again. I do not. Let's, um... 
I owe you for getting rid of the ghost dad. So he doesn't... Barkley, Barkley, can you hear me? Greetings from beyond the grave. It is I, the ghost dad. I have come to haunt you, but also to help you. It is true that I haunted Proto-Neo New York, but I did it with good intentions. But this is not why I am here. I want to thank you for freeing me from my ghostly chains of bondage, for saving me from the hex that I unwittingly placed upon myself years ago. I am finally free to return to the ghost domain. Thanks to you, and I am no longer cursed by this dastardly hex. I want to show my appreciation by giving you a power that very few ghosts attain, let alone mortals. It is the precious ghost muscle, a skill that fortifies your body with the incredible power of ghosts. I hope you use it as wisely as I did. Barkley learned ghost muscle. Farewell, Barkley. May my powers aid you on your journey. That's cool. That dream? It felt so real. But it couldn't be. Still, I feel the power of ghosts coursing through my veins. Perhaps the ghost dad wasn't such a bad guy after all. Uh, yeah, ghost muscle. And we are full. Full of stuff. Alright, I think we will save. Uh, where are we saving? Num the top? Yeah, we'll save over here. Yeah, sure. Let's check out down first, because they want us to go west. Spalding isn't this way, it's to the left. We need to go there so we can get the prototype B-ball. Okay, so we can't go down yet. Presumably we'll go to the Spalding factory, back here, then down. So, that's good to know. Uh, we can, we can just stop. We just saved, so it's all good. Um, uh, now, on the plus side, turning around like that looking for the cats also cracks my back, which is nice. Uh, that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. Um, you know, I mean, I, I actually mean that a lot. It's, uh, you know, YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that, they're, they've changed since the beginning. Um, I don't... You know, I don't know how long this whole thing is going to last. I mean, my channel, right? Uh, BitChute, BitChute 2. You know, for all we know, YouTube and Twitch might fall and BitChute might rise uh, because it might be the only one where you can actually have free speech. Who knows? Who knows? It might be Mixer. You know, Google is censoring stuff, if you've noticed, or probably, probably you haven't because they just don't show stuff in the results, but search on Bing. Search on Bing and search on Google and look at the differences. Especially for anything that shows any sort of adult content, any sort of nudity or you know, controversial opinions, stuff like that. It's it's different. So, you know, it's entirely possible Mixer will rise. Um, yeah. Hmm. Excuse me, but that is all for today, guys. Any questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent you have, let me know. I read them all. Um, some are appearing in the... They're getting caught by the, the spam filter. I don't know why. There's a lot of spam, though. You know. Hey, want to be YouTube friends? Hey, check out this link. All that stuff. And I'm just like... You know, but if it's not... If it's legit, I'll, you know, obviously I, I approve it. So, you know, I also don't respond immediately. So, uh, you know, sometimes it takes me a couple days. Might be longer than that, depending on if I have like a rough, like really busy work week. But, um, but I do try and get back to everybody. So, uh, yeah, if you want, leave a comment. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, I'm actually going to do those... Uh, the roasted seaweed, the red pepper roasted seaweed again, because I can't stop eating it. It's that good. I was just like eating them earlier. I'm like, holy cow, the thing's almost gone. Uh, but they're that good. So that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully you guys are just as good as mine, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.